this is ZZOSX, and today I'm showing you how to pair a PlayStation 4 controller to your Mac. First, you'll want to make sure you're running at least macOS 10.15 Catalina or later in order to take advantage of native support, though at this point you hopefully have something newer than 10.15. To check what version you're using, hit the Apple logo in the top left corner of your screen, then hit About This Mac. There, in the window that appears, should be a line listing the version of the OS you're using, such as macOS 14 Sonoma in my case. If you're running something older than Catalina, then you'll need to upgrade to at least that or newer from the Mac App Store, which I've got a link to on how to do that in the corner. Next, grab your PS5 controller. You can use it wired or wirelessly, but the easiest and best way to use it is over a wired connection. Just plug your USB cable into the controller and the Mac using an adapter if necessary. That's it. Both Steam and the Mac will recognize the controller and let you configure the settings and play games with it. This also has the benefit of setting up the Bluetooth automatically should you decide to play wirelessly. Note this will work on OS 12 Monterey, though you won't get all the custom controller settings the way you would with Bluetooth or in the newer versions of macOS. For this video, I'll be working primarily in macOS 13 Ventura and OS 14 Sonoma. If you want to use Bluetooth and don't have the cable, that will require a few more steps. First, you'll need to make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your Mac first. Open the Settings or System Preferences app, and click on the Bluetooth section. If it's not already, click Turn on Bluetooth. Leave this pane open though because we're going to come back to it. On your controller, locate the PlayStation logo between the two thumbsticks and the Share button to the left of the touchpad and upper right of the D-pad. You're going to press and hold these two buttons together until the light bar above the touchpad begins to flash. You should see the controller pop up in the Bluetooth list, either saying something like DualShock Controller, DualShock 4, or something similar. Once you do, hit the connect button next to its listing, and after a few seconds, the controller should automatically connect, and the light bar should turn either blue or orange. In Ventura and Newer, you know it's fully connected when you have a new Game Controllers option near the bottom of the left-hand sidebar. Once it's connected, you have a few options built in. First, scroll down on the left sidebar and click on the Game Controller section. Then click on your connected PlayStation controller. Clicking on it will let you see the default profile and settings as well as let you set custom controller configurations called profiles, either for particular games or all games. You can go back to the game controller's main window, scroll down to the profile section, and then hit the plus button to create your own button mapping and configurations that you can use either for individual games or as your default mapping. So how do you play games with this? Let's break this up into a Mac App Store section and a Steam section, then we'll briefly touch on games outside the major digital storefronts. Let's start with a Mac App Store. It gets a little tricky with finding games with controller support. Like its iOS counterpart, the Mac App Store has a tag for controller support alongside developers' names, star rating, etc. But like the iOS counterpart, some games don't use that tag and either list it in the description or in the patch notes where it was added. That said, I find the tag for controller support much more common in the Mac App Store than in the iOS Store. If you're a member of Apple Arcade, many games will have controller support on the Mac, though not all of them. If you're looking at games in the Mac App Store that aren't in Apple Arcade, just make sure to check the App Store tag or the description. The great thing is for games that do support controllers, once you've got the controller connected, all you'll have to do is launch the game and everything should just work. Some games will let you adjust and remap the controls, but that's on a game by game basis. Next, let's talk about Steam. Steam has really streamlined their controller options and made it so much easier. Just by plugging in the controller or having it connected via Bluetooth is enough to have Steam recognize it. That said, I'd still recommend you only use this with Steam when connected via USB cable, as Bluetooth is still hit or miss. Steam's menus tend to work fine, but many games are still dodgy about Bluetooth connected controllers. Plus, using a wired connection generally provides more responsive gameplay. Let's go over a few options in the settings at least. Click on the Steam label on the far left side of the menu bar, and then hit Preferences. In the window that pops up, hit Controller in the left sidebar. You'll want to make sure to scroll down to External Gamepad Settings and ensure PlayStation Controller Support is at least set to Enabled or Enabled with Games Without Support. The former will only let the controller work for games with full controller support, while the latter will have Steam do its best to map controls to your controller. 
As part of Steam's overhaul, you will be notified when games are not fully compatible with your PlayStation controller and be asked if you want to play with the caveat that some things may not be mapped correctly or the game may not show the appropriate gamepad symbols on screen. Now, about games outside the storefront. In previous videos, I had said I hadn't found a good third-party controller app for games that come from outside the Mac App Store and Steam. And sadly, that is still the case. With the exception of certain game-specific mods, like the controllable mod for Minecraft, there aren't any good options that I've been able to find. It seems like this might be an abandoned area of Mac development. But with all that said, that's how you connect a PlayStation 4 controller to your Mac. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as on my social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.